Hello students, welcome to grade 10 chemistry class and the topic is periodic classification of elements part 4. So here in today's class you are going to learn about the periodic properties of the elements in periodic table that is in the modern periodic table. The modern periodic table was proposed by mostly you have seen and learned in the previous classes that this modern periodic table is proposed by mostly and it is based on the electronic configuration of the elements. Now let's see how the periodic properties of the elements change in this modern periodic table. Now let's see. The modern periodic table is organized on the basis of the electronic configuration of elements. So this means that this modern periodic table is prepared, is organized means is prepared, is set up on the basis of the electronic configuration of the elements. So this table is organized or this table is prepared basing on the electronic configuration of the elements. Physical and chemical properties of them related to their electronic configuration, particularly the outer shell configuration. So here the properties, the physical and chemical properties of all these elements in the periodic table are related to their electronic configuration. So here the properties of all the elements which are in the periodic table are related to one another with their electronic configuration, particularly the outer shell configuration, which means that the electrons which are present in the outermost shell. So here you should understand that the modern periodic table is based on electronic configuration of the elements and this electronic configuration of these elements are related to the properties of physical and chemical properties of all of the elements. Therefore, it is expected that all the elements in a group should have similar chemical properties and there should be a regular gradation in their physical properties from top to bottom. So here when we know that the elements in the periodic table are related with the electronic configuration. Now when we consider the elements in a group they should be expected to have the similar chemical properties and there should be regular gradation means regular change in the physical properties of the elements when we see from top to bottom that is in a group. So here it means that in a group the elements will have the same chemical properties because they have the same valence shell electronic configuration. So they should have the similar chemical properties and the physical properties of them should be in a regular manner with slight variation. Similarly across the table from left to right that is in any period elements get an increase in the atomic number by one unit between any two successive elements. So here when we compared the change of atomic number in a group they are changing by one shell whereas in a period that is when you move from left to right in a periodic table the elements get an increase in their atomic number just by one unit only by one unit between any two successive elements. So here due to this slight variation of the atomic number the electronic configuration of the valence shell is not same because here the electron is being added to the shell and the electronic configuration of the valence shell of any two elements in a given period is not same. Here the valence electronic configuration is changing because it is increasing by one unit. Due to this reason elements along a period possess different chemical properties with regular gradation in physical properties in a period. So here you must understand that the electronic configuration or the atomic number in a period increases by one unit. Due to this increase of one unit 
electron is being added to the same shell and hence the valence electronic configuration of the elements in the period is not same because when you compare one element to the other element electronic configuration valence electronic configuration is increasing by one unit but it's not remaining the same whereas in a group when you say the first element in the first group electronic configuration is 1s1 hydrogen whereas lithium atomic number 3 so its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 so here valence electronic configuration is 2s1 whereas the first element is 1s1 second element 2s1 and the third element in the group is 3s1 next 4s1 5s1 and so on whereas in a period the valence electronic configuration is increasing by one unit for example lithium 1s2 2s1 after lithium beryllium comes and its atomic number is 1s2 4 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 so here valence electronic configuration is 2s2 whereas lithium is 2s1 so it's not same since it is increasing by one unit so the valence shell electron gets increased or else a new shell is added due to this reason elements along a period deposes different chemical properties but in physical properties there is a regular gradation the change is regular in their physical properties in the elements of a period okay now let see the next one the properties of elements and their trends in groups and in periods now let's see the how the properties of elements change in group and in periods to understand this we will take some properties of elements and discuss how they vary in groups and periods so to understand how the properties of elements change in a group or in a period we should try to understand the trends how they are changing first one is valence electrons what are valence electrons the number of electrons present in an outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electron so here the first property that is taken is valence electron now what are valence electrons we have learned in your previous class but just once recapturation what are valence electrons means the number of electrons present in an outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electron so for example when we take lithium atomic number 3 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 so here the outermost shell is 2s1 and the number of electrons present in it is one electron so valency is one for lithium which means that the number of electrons present in an outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electron and the valency of lithium is 1. Okay. Have you got it? What are valence electrons? <coughs> what are valence electrons? The number of electrons present in an outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electrons. Now let's see how the valence electrons change in a period and in a group. Let's see in a period first. In a period, the number of valence electrons increases from 1 to 8 from left to right. And the number of shells is the same. So here when you consider the valence electronic configuration of elements in any period, it is increasing by 1 unit. So the atomic number change is also 1 unit. So since due to the change of atomic number by 1 unit, its electronic configuration is also varying by one electron. So here the valence electrons in a period increases from 1 to 8. For example, when you consider second period, the elements in the second period are lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Now when you consider the atomic number of them, lithium atomic number 3, beryllium 4, boron 5, carbon 6, nitrogen 7, oxygen 8, fluorine 9, neon 10. And when you write their electronic configuration, 
lithium electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 beryllium 1s2 2s2 boron 1s2 2s2 2p1 carbon 1s2 2s2 4 completed and 2p4 sorry 2p2 so on the whole six electrons are filled the same way nitrogen 2p3 1s2 2s2 2p3 so here at nitrogen orbitals are completely half filled there first orbit is completely filled second orbit s orbital is complete half s orbital is completely filled and p orbital is half filled here and so on for the oxygen fluorine and neon so when you compare the valence electronic configuration of them so here valence electrons are the number of electrons in the outermost shell that is in 2s one electron whereas for beryllium two electrons in 2s2 that is in the 2s orbital two electrons are present whereas in boron it is second orbit is the valence electron valence shell and the number of electrons in them is 2s2 2p1 so here when you observe electrons are being increased by one unit but the shell is same that is second shell it may be s orbital or p orbital that is s sub cell or p sub shell anything but it is the cell is remaining the same so here the valence electrons are from lithium to neon are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so in this way the valence electrons in a period increases from 1 to 8 but the shell is same understood all of you now let's see how does the valence electrons change in a group in a group the number of valence electrons is same for all the elements but the number of shells increases from top to bottom so here in the group when you take any group in the modern periodic table the number of valence electrons in the group remains same but shell in changes that is for example when you take the first group 1a hydrogen lithium for example few elements hydrogen lithium neon sorry sodium and potassium so here hydrogen atomic number is 1 lithium atomic number is 3 sodium 11 potassium 19 the electronic configuration 1s1 whereas here 1s2 2s1 the next one 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 so here one more shell is being increased so when you compare an element to its previous one here valence electrons are 1s1 whereas here 2s1 for sodium it is 3s1 and for potassium it is 4s1 so it is the fourth element and valence electron is 4s1 fifth element 5s1 sixth element 6s1 seventh element 7s1 so due to this increase of atomic number the valence electronic configuration is remaining the same but shells change that is first element first shell second element second shell is the valence electrons presence third element ele valence electrons are present in the third shell and for the fourth element it is the fourth shell so what you can conclude about the change or the trend in the valence electrons in a group is the valence electrons in a group is same but the number of shells increases from top to bottom whereas in a period the valence electrons increases by one unit and shell remains the same okay remember that the valence electrons in a period increases by one unit being shell remain the same whereas in a group valence electrons remains the same but 
number of shells increases from top to bottom okay now let's see valence or valency valence or valency is defined as the combining power of an element with respect to hydrogen oxygen or any other element through them so here valency of an element can be defined as the combining power of an element and this element can be from any group or any period for that matter anywhere or any place in the periodic table it can be from anywhere in the periodic table but its valency means it defines that the combining power of that element in comparison to hydrogen oxygen or to itself valence of an sorry valence of an element with respect to hydrogen is the number of hydrogen atoms with which one atom of that element chemically combines so here it, the valency is defined in comparison with hydrogen oxygen or any other element now let's define or let's try to understand this valency in detail now here when we are comparing with hydrogen the valency of an element can be defined as with respect to hydrogen it is the number of hydrogen atoms with which one atom of that element chemically combines suppose you have taken an element from a group of first year or second year but the combining capacity of that element with hydrogen means with respect to hydrogen the number of hydrogen atoms that can combine to this element of first group or second group is known as valency of that element for example i have taken this compound that is nah sodium hydride so here hydrogen is there so the other element is sodium which means that we are trying to understand the valency of sodium here now the valency of this sodium is expressed or it is defined with respect to hydrogen and here it is already defined that valence of an element means valence of sodium with respect to hydrogen is number of hydrogen atoms with which one atom of that element com chemically combines so here sodium is combining with one atom of hydrogen number of hydrogen atoms how many hydrogen atoms are combining here one hydrogen atom is combined so valency of sodium is one the same way when you consider magnesium here the valency of magnesium is two because here two hydrogen atoms are combining with one atom of magnesium hence the valency of magnesium is 2 have you got it we are defining the valency of any element with respect to hydrogen as the number of hydrogen atoms with which one atom of that element is combining it may be sodium or magnesium with these one atom of element from first period or first group anywhere the number of hydrogen atoms that are combining to it are known is known as valency of that element so here in this compound magnesium hydride two hydrogen atoms are combining with one magnesium atom so the valency of magnesium is 2 for example when you consider a water molecule whose chemical formula is h2o so here we are comparing with hydrogen and when you comparing with hydrogen the other element is oxygen so the valency of oxygen is how many hydrogens are combining here two atoms of hydrogen are combining so the valency of oxygen is 2 so in this way we can express the valency of an element either with respect to hydrogen or with oxygen okay but you have to remember that valency of the an element with respect to hydrogen means the number of hydrogen atoms combining with that atom now let's see what is valency when it is compared with now let's see the valency of an element with respect to oxygen 
this can be defined as the valency of an element is equal to twice the number of oxygen atom with which one atom of that element is combining. So here when we are trying to combine or when we are trying to understand the valency of an element, it is equal to the twice the number of oxygen atoms that are combining to this element. For example, when you take calcium oxide. So here in this, one oxygen of calcium is combining with one oxygen atom. So here the valency of calcium can be understood that it is equal to twice of oxygen atoms. Here one oxygen atom is combining. So the valency of calcium is 2. The same way magnesium oxide whose formula is MgO. Here one oxygen atom is combining with one magnesium atom. But the valency as we have known that the valency of magnesium is equal to twice the number of oxygens. So valency of magnesium is equal to 2. <clears throat> now when you see the uh, compound carbon dioxide whose chemical formula is CO2, here two oxygen atoms have combined with one carbon atom. So the valency of carbon should be equal to twice the number of oxygen atoms that is 2 into 2, 4. So the valency of carbon is equal to 4. Remember that the valency of any element with respect to oxygen is equal to twice the number of oxygen atoms. Now, let's see valency. In a period, the valency of elements increases from 1 to 4 and then decreases from 4 to 0 from left to right. So, when you compare the physical property that is the valency, here the valency of an element in a period increases from 1 to 4 and from then it starts decreasing to 0. For example, when you consider the second period elements, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon, the valency of these elements can be known by writing their electronic configuration. So here the atomic number of lithium is 3 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Beryllium 4 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2. And boron electronic configuration 5, atomic number 5 and electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So here you, when you observe carefully, here the atomic number is increasing by 1 unit and the electron is being added to the same shell that is to the second shell maybe s orbital or from boron p orbital starts. Now when you compare the electronic configuration of carbon whose atomic number is 6, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So here the valence electronic configuration of the valence electrons are equal to 4 here because in the second orbit 2s2 and 2p2. So here the valency is equal to 4. Now when you write the electronic configuration of nitrogen whose atomic number is 7 then it is equal to 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So here p orbital is half filled. So the valency of nitrogen is equal to 3 because s orbital is completely filled and p orbital is half filled that is 3 electrons are filled so it needs 3 more electrons and from then here that is from oxygen to neon it starts decreasing here from nitrogen it had started carbon valency is equal to 4 and after carbon nitrogen atomic number with atomic number 7 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p3 so p orbital is in need of 3 electrons so here the valence electrons are decreased so from nitrogen the valency of the elements starts decreasing to 0 because s orbital is completely filled and p orbital is half filled so here nitrogen is in requirement of 3 electrons whereas oxygen is in requirement of only 2 electrons because its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. 
4. The same way fluorine is a requirement of 1 electron. Whereas neon, its atomic number is 10, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So it is completely filled. So its valence is equal to 0. So remember that in a period the valence of elements increases from 1 to 4 and after reaching 4 it starts decreasing. Now let's see in a group. In a group the valency is same for all the elements of the group. So here the valency of the elements in a group is same because all the elements for example when you take the elements in the first group hydrogen, lithium, sodium and potassium the atomic numbers of them are 1 that is valency is 1 whereas lithium atomic number 3 electronic configuration 1s2, 2s1 so the valency is only one electron second orbit s electron is in need of one more electron now sodium when you take atomic number is 11 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 so second orbit is completely filled but the number of electrons are 11 so it starts electrons 11th electron enters into 3s1 so here one more electron is required so when you observe the electronic configurations of them, here the valence electrons are always equal to 1 in the group, in first group. So the valency of the elements in a group remains the same, that is equal to, it's the same, but shell increases. So remember that in a group the valency of the elements is same, whereas in a period when you move from left to right, the valency of the elements increases from 1 to 4 and from then it decreases to 0. Now let's see the next property that is atomic size or atomic radius. What is atomic size or radius is it can be defined as the distance from the center of the nucleus of an atom to its outermost shell. So the atomic size or the atomic radius can be defined as distance from the center of the nucleus of atom to its outermost shell. We know that an atom consists of nucleus at its center. Now atomic radius means from the center of the nucleus to its outermost shell. It may be second shell or third shell or fifth shell or seventh shell when we go to higher elements. It can be anything but it is equal to the atomic size is equal to the distance from the center of the nucleus of the atom to its outermost shell and the units of it are picometers, nanometers or, and angstrom. So here 1 picometer, 1 pm that is picometer not post meridian, 1 pm is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meters and 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 meters and 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeters or 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. Okay. So, atomic size means it is the distance from the center of the nucleus to its outermost shell and its units are picometers, nanometers and angstroms. The next size of the atoms in comparison to ion. So, here positive ion and negative ion exist. Positive ion is formed when an electron, sorry, when an atom loses an electron. So, here when an atom is losing an electron, so for that atom, number of protons are more in number. So, the positive charge is more on the negatively charged electrons. So, the positive charge nucleus attracts the electrons of the outermost shell. So, it comes closer, it pulls towards it and the size of it reduces. So, the size of positive ion is less than the size of neutral atom. Now, size of the negative ion. Negative ion is formed by addition of an electron to it. So, here when an electron is being added, number of electrons are more than the protons. So, here electron charge, negative charge is more than the proton. So, it increases or it extends to larger distance. So, the charge, positive charge, nucleus charge attraction is less when compared to the electrons. So, 
the size of negative ions is greater than the neutral atom okay size of positive ion is less than neutral atom and size of negative ion is greater than neutral atom now let's see the atomic size variations in a period and group in a period the atomic size of elements decreases from left to right because the nuclear charge increases and so the electrons are pulled closer to the nucleus we know that in a period the atomic size increases by one unit but the electrons are being added to the same shell so here the distance of these electrons from the nucleus is less because since they are closer to the nucleus the nucleus charge is more and it pulls towards the itself so it reduces the atomic size of the atoms for example when you consider the elements in the second period lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon so here the number of protons are 3 and beryllium 4 boron 5 carbon 6 and so on so here the number of protons are more than the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell so because here in the outermost shell only one electron is present so the attraction of protons three protons is more than one electron so it is being pulled closer towards the nucleus the same way four protons of beryllium pulls the valence electrons to towards the nucleus so its atomic size decreases so in this way the atomic size in a period decreases when we move from left to right now let's see the variation in a group in a group the atomic size of the elements increases from top to bottom because <clears throat> here new shell is being added to an atom for example when you take the elements of first year group hydrogen lithium sodium potassium the electronic configurations of them when you write hydrogen 1 that is 1s1 lithium 3 1s2 1s2 2s1 so here second orbit is added now sodium when you take electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 so third shell is being added same way for the fourth element in the first year group potassium fourth shell is being added so in this way since new shell is being added to the atom its atomic size increases so remember that in a group the atomic size of the elements increases from top to bottom because the number of shells increases shells are being added to an element one by one and the distance between the nucleus and shells also increases so in a group the atomic size increases whereas in a period the atomic size decreases now let's see the variations of atomic radius in a period now here example as you have seen that in a period uh, the second period lithium 2 neon when you take the atomic radius of lithium is 152 picometers the next one beryllium 112 boron 85 carbon 77 so you can see that the atomic radius decreases in the period second period from 152 to 71 picometers of neon so it can be any period for that matter like when you take this uh, fourth period potassium calcium it is from 227 to 112 picometers of krypton so in any period the atomic radius decreases observe here 265 to 140 now let's see in the group in a group when you observe that is one year group if you see atomic radius is 37 picometers whereas the last element in the first group is cesium whose atomic radius is 265 meters so it had increased same way 2a also when you take it has increased from 112 to 222 third year group from 85 picometers in boron to 172 picometers so it is common that the atomic radius increases in a group and decreases in a period 
Hence, we can say that the atomic radius in a period decreases and in a group it increases. With this, I conclude the session for today and in the next class you are going to learn the trends that is electronegativity, electropositivity, electron affinity, how they are going to change in period and in a group. But before you attend the class, once again you go through the video of this and note down the important points. Stay home, stay safe.